I never made it as a wise man, but today we're gonna show you how to make your own reflector. Canadian style. Why is it a Canadian reflector? I'm glad you asked. It's multi-purpose. Sorry if this offended you. I could slip on to something a little bit more comfortable. That'll keep the fanboys at bay. Good day everyone. Last week we talked about the reflector. It's silver and gold and it reflects light. But what if you don't have your own reflector? Today, we're gonna to show you how to make your own reflector. Now, we're gonna be using dollar store items, so make sure you pay for them, because I don't wanna be responsible for any poor man stealing. We covered what a reflector does in the last episode, but how is it made? What are we trying to emulate? What's it all about? Obviously, it needs to be really reflective, but it also needs to be really rigid, enough to be able to hold with just one hand while operating a camera with the other. The fanciest part about a professional reflector is its ability to fold into a much smaller disc. We're not gonna worry about that part yet because that's a bit more advanced. First thing we need is something sturdy. I found this poster board. At first I wanted to use Bristol board, but it'd be a big wreck because it was too flimsy. The poster board, however, was a lot sturdier for the same price. Next, we needed tape, double-sided preferred. And lastly, we needed something reflective, preferably silver and gold. I thought this was silver at first, but it was actually transparent, eh? I actually used a baking tray as the reflector on one of my first shoots, but it was a complete chaos. This I've actually used before. It's a reflective sunshade for your car, but again, too flimsy. But look at this, rear shade, and on the back here, we got a diagram that looks suspiciously similar to the reflector we're trying to replicate. And then, whilst perusing the arts and crafts aisle, I came across this. I think it's meant for making your own crafty wreaths, but I think we hit gold with this one. Not only did it have gold, but to my surprise and luck, it had silver as well. 1620. I would have preferred metric, or even bigger, like 5440. Originally, my simple plan was to spray paint a silver color, but that'd be too expensive. And this here was the perfect size, eh? So let's get started. We got glittery guard stock, glittery card stock, $4. Double stick tape. I paid her a buck 30, but she gave me my nickel back. Foam board, and it wouldn't be Canadian without a hockey stick. First thing we need is an adhesive to bind our items together. I looked everywhere for an e-glue, but they're not as common here as non-Canadians seem to think. I prefer using double stick tape. It saved me a lot of time and space. Now, you don't want to rush this part. The board is almost ready for our clay glittery cardstock. It's white on the bottom, so make sure you put it silver side up. Little known fact, Silver Side Up by Nickelback was released on September 11, 2001. The world has never been the same since. Sorry. Next was the gold side. I used the tape sparingly, but still ran out. I should have bought more. But looking at the back of the phone board, I saw the name Elmer. Then it clicked. Elmer. <gasps> this is how you remind me about the existence of glue sticks. Such brilliant marketing. This was really helpful for the tricky edges, which were missed by some of the tape. Need to spread the glue all over. And next, it's time for trimming the edges. Now, we're taking care of business. Make sure your fingers are not this close to the scissors. We only have 10 after all. Well, most of us anyway. But who knows, you could be a freak watching this and have finger 11 for all I know. Sorry, didn't mean to call you a freak. Next, we're gonna put tape on the edges to build a lasting seal. And we Canadians do love our seal. Sorry, it's not like me to say sorry. I was really inefficient here with this method, but then I learned my lesson and remembered a much easier way I learned this crafting trick back at my old Catholic school, Our Lady of Peace. Or was it, I Mother of Earth? Anywho. We finally get to your favorite item and pastime, a hockey stick. You've seen it before, but not like this. What you wanna do is find the center of gravity. You can turn this into a balancing game for a little extra fun. Are we having fun yet? If you're wondering whether this will even work, we got a model to help us out in 10 seconds, so stick around. Make sure to subscribe and share this with your friends. It's easy to remember. Just think of these five words in your head. 
do-it-yourself Canadian reflector. Now, get out of your hoose and go shoot some bare naked ladies. Canadian reflector because I got on a hockey stick. <laughs> that is fabulous. Hey, look that at that. Oh man. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for such a great response for last week's episode with Gabby dressed up as a boy. Many of you were wondering, when did you guys shoot last? What did it look like? So to satiate your desires, guys, look at this photograph. Every time I look at it, it makes me laugh. I mean, look, there's like a mouse right there. Do you see the mouse? Look at this photograph. <laughs>